Hey guys, I am finally at my hotel room in Cambridge, Ohio. I'm here for uh, the Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Festival. I don't even, I don't know what, it's, I know it's called Paul Bunyan and it's in Cambridge, Ohio. And I've been going since, uh, I left the house at 520 and I got here about 20 minutes ago and it, so, Took me 13 hours to get here. Uh, I I did stop, you know, and take a little, you know, snooze in the truck kind of thing. There's the Ram. The Dodge. There's Bob Evans. Might have to go eat me there, eat something there. Or could go to Dunkin' Donut. I love Dunkin' Guy. There's KFC. And right over there is, I, I think it's an Italian place, I think. Turn some lights on. So, um, yeah. So the plan is that, uh, cheap hotel. <laughs> I'm just traveling by myself. and I, I can't believe how cheap it was, actually. It's only like $55 a night or something, which... Down in Atlanta, if you get a hotel for $55 a night, man, you got to watch out for the crackheads and, <laughs> and meth heads and, you know, $15 blowjobs. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it's, it's not too bad here. Um, so I'll be at the Bunyan show Friday and Saturday. Uh, my plan is, I believe the way that this show goes, what I know about it is I think that stuff's been happening all week, but not, not really stuff, but they, it's kind of open for the industry to show off their tools that they sell and things like that. And so there'll be like tractors, um, there'll be people who make implements for tractors, all kinds of stuff. And so I hope to get a lot of that filmed on Friday. And uh, and also there's a Menards up here. I love Menards. I love Menards. Menards is the most awesome, like, Home Depot slash Lowe's type of place that I've ever been to. There, There's a couple others. I can't remember the name of them that were a little bit nicer than Menards. But Menards is like a Walmart and a Home Depot smushed together. <laughs> so they're awesome. And the ones out west carried Yonsa Red saws. And so I'm excited to go there and see if like this one has any leftover Yonsa Reds. And um, uh, I got a fight the urge to buy one because even if they did have them it would just be the the cheaper homeowner brands and stuff probably i would imagine the best that i could hope for would be a 2250 which is the same thing as a uh, husqvarna rancher 350 and you know nothing wrong with those saws i think that they're probably i mean i've never ran one but i think they're probably pretty solid little farm and ranch 50 cc saws but I have no need for that. So as much as I'll want to go <laughs> and buy it, I, I, I got to hold back on that. But uh, um, so also on tomorrow, Friday, uh, I hope to meet any YouTubers that are there um, and get that kind of knocked out of the way. Like everybody knows Buckin's going to be there. Um but uh, Mike and Melissa Morgan are going to be there as well. I, I think they're going to be on the, be there on Friday. I'm not sure. But um, I, I'd like to get a chance to meet them, say hey. Um, and um, the channel is called Outdoors with the Morgans. Uh, Logger Wade, I believe he is there or will be there or something like that. Maybe I'll meet him, you know. Um, and maybe there's others. I don't know. I actually don't, I don't watch many people on YouTube. There's so often, uh, I just don't watch it. 
I, I create, I don't consume a whole lot. Um, and so there's a lot of people that I don't even, I don't even know who they are, you know, and they're big. They'll be, they're, they're big. And, um, like, you know, a, a perfect description is like, well, I don't really like steel chainsaws very much. And so most of the big guys, like, well, like Treason, he's always running a steel chainsaw. Not always, you know, and nothing against him or anything like that. I'm just going, well, if their channel is built around steel chainsaws, well, YouTube has learned my pattern and it almost doesn't even recommend any channels with steel chainsaws. It's all Husky. It's all Husky, maybe some McCulloch, uh, some Poland. So any of the big YouTubers that actually have a large following, typically they're running steel chainsaws and that's not a channel that I watch for the most part. So there might be the biggest YouTuber out there and I wouldn't even know who the person is because they run steel chainsaws. And, and you know, I'm starting to get over that and everything and incorporate them more into my videos because, I mean, that's right or wrong. They definitely have the biggest following in the United States. Um, so, and then on Saturday... Saturday is when all of the Lumberjack games are going to be happening. And uh, uh, I hope to mainly just be enjoying those games. I'm going to get to hang out with uh, Grant. I'm talking about Grant Foreman. He's competing. And hopefully I'll get to meet all the competitors and stuff. And that'll be really cool. And uh, maybe I'll get some footage. But I don't want to put those guys on. You know, I don't want to put them under a microscope. They're there to compete. And the last thing I want to do is get in their way. Um, but, you know, I will take videos of the competition, but I definitely am not going to do it the way that I did the Alabama show last year, which I, I really filmed every category and I broke down everything and I put little titles at the bottom of who they were, you know, what they were running and things like that. That's a lot of work, and I am not going to be doing that at, at this uh, show. Excuse me. So, I uh, look forward to, uh, hopefully you will look forward to seeing uh, tomorrow, on Friday, Friday evening, whenever everything's done, I'll make a little video and upload it. And you'll get to see what the actual event is like as far as all of the industry tools and things that are out there that I think are cool to look at and uh, maybe talk to some of the people that make them, things like that. The other thing is, uh, and then on, on Saturday, I'll just be hanging out and some footage of the races and things like that. I'll also get to hang out with Eric Nickel, which he's the guy that actually is um, putting on the show. He's like the main guy. I think it's his property where they're having the Sawfest at. So I'll get to meet him before Sawfest, and that'll be cool. And I, I, I imagine I imagine we'll hang out uh, a good bit and everything. So yeah. That's how it's going, and I'm here. I'm fixing to go get me something to eat and then jump in the bed. It's been a long, long day, and uh, that big that big truck, It's my truck's a 2500, and it's not smooth sailing. <laughs> oh, I do want to say this. The Ohio drivers, like, as soon as I crossed into Ohio... Well, you have Cincinnati, and I had I had a good bit of traffic jams, but I drove through Ohio like three and a half hours worth of driving, maybe a little bit more, maybe. But the point is, is there's so much better drivers than they are in Atlanta. <laughs> the speed limit's seventy, and here I am. I'm the one that's passing everybody doing seventy six. 
you know, 77 maybe. And I'm not used to that. In Atlanta, if the speed limit is 70, I'll still do my 76 miles an hour or so, right? And I'll have people whizzing past me doing 85, 90. They're such terrible drivers in Atlanta. And also, everything smells like pot. <laughs> I mean, every driver in Atlanta just about, you like, ugh. So you just smell it. It comes through your vents and... It just out there on the interstates, lighten up, buddy. <laughs> that ain't for me, but um, but especially not when driving on a freaking horrible interstate like they there is in Atlanta. And all the drivers in Atlanta are terrible, they're terrible. And oh, god forbid there be a little bit of snow, they freak out, <laughs> anyways. See you guys.